In today's video, I want to highlight all of the new PlayStation Store sales that are available right now, mostly the PlayStation Plus special sale that's running right now. A lot of great VR titles have been discounted, so you definitely want to check out that if you're a Plus subscriber. Also, speaking of VR, First Contact Entertainment, the dev studio behind Firewall Zero Hour, one of PlayStation VR's best titles, has just had a meeting at PlayStation headquarters. What could they be working on? I don't know, but probably another VR game. Sony's chief financial officer is saying that consoles are not going to be obsolete in five years thanks to cloud and i do want to go over specifically what hiroki totoki said about cloud and how it'll be impacting consoles in the future also it's been well publicized that quantic dream got a big investment from netease and they will be making multi-platform games however their most recent title in detroit become human was a playstation 4 exclusive and it's doing very well from a commercial standpoint and i do want to go over the updated number that was shared also dreams the beta has been going on on the playstation 4 and people are making some insane projects and i want to highlight one really cool project that was made by a user AR guys it's being shared all over Twitter and gaining some traction right now it's called project zero and it's a cinematic first-person shooter with momentum filled gunplay and lastly I do want to give you guys a heads up on a great deal for the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim special edition on the PlayStation 4 so more on that at the end of this video first up the PlayStation Plus special sale has been going on for a little bit this is separate from the essential sales so a bunch of new games have been discounted and a lot of them are some highly touted VR titles there are some non VR games on sale as well but some of the best deals i see borderlands 2 vr has a small discount 25 percent off for 37.49 that just came out would have liked to see it a little bit cheaper but hey borderlands 2 is such a great game and to be able to play it in vr that's gonna be even better resident evil 7 is 50 percent off for 24.99 of course that game can be played entirely in vr but you can also play it with standard controls and by the way that is the gold edition so even better there astrobot rescue mission many would say that's the best playstation vr game ever released that's 20 percent off for 32 dollars so not bad there Bravo Team is 40% off for $23.99. I see Code 51 Mech Arena. That's down to $11.99. Drive Club VR is down to just $7.49. Dirt Rally is discounted. Eagle Flight is 70% off for $5.99. Farpoint is 50% off. And I thought that was a rather good game for $9.99. Not a bad pickup. One of the first first-person shooters that was released on PlayStation VR. So obviously there were some development hurdles. And it's not perfect. But what that game was going for, I think they did a pretty good job with it. I see Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul, discounted 50% that's down to $14.99. RE7, the base game, is also 50% off for $14.99. Rise of the Tomb Raider 20-Year Celebration Edition. This is kind of a hidden deal. It's 80% off for $11.99. That's kind of a hidden deal, but $11.99 for that is really great, and Rise of the Tomb Raider is a terrific game. Also see Riggs Mechanized Combat League for $4.99. That's 75% off, and then I also noticed the base Resident Evil 7 game is 50% off for $14.99. Raw Data is also 50% off for $19.99, so not a bad deal there, and those are just the deals I'm going to be mentioning there are a ton more deals available actually a couple more that i do have to know because they just caught my attention the elder scrolls 5 skyrim vr is 40 percent off for 35.99 and then wipe out omega collection is 70 percent off for 5.99 as well on top of all those deals a ton more deals are available so check out the entirety of the sale for yourself a lot of good buys there even if you don't have playstation vr there are games available like rise of the tomb raider wipe out omega collection resident evil 7 those deals are quite good even if you don't have playstation vr and do remember that the playstation is Essential sale is still running. We uploaded a couple videos taking a look at the best deals available as a part of that, but a ton of great deals available right now on the PlayStation Store. Speaking of PlayStation VR and all the going ons of that, Firewall Zero Hour developer First Contact Entertainment put out a tweet saying, quote, had a great time visiting HQ today with a picture of PlayStation headquarters. With the success of Firewall Zero Hour, how well that game has been received, I would imagine that Sony is very happy with what they put out and they'll be putting out another game sometime in the future. Will it be another PlayStation VR game? Will it be a PlayStation? five game who knows at this point but just know that first contact entertainment is probably working on something new and considering that firewall zero hour turned out to be great they've continued to update that game i'm very interested to see what they can put out in the future Moving on from that, there's been a lot of talk on the demise of consoles and whether or not cloud gaming is going to take over consoles. I remember at the start of this generation, there were so many people saying that the PlayStation 4 was going to be the last console and they didn't see the PS4 doing all too well from a commercial standpoint. Boy, don't you look a little dumb now with how well the PlayStation 4 has done. But hey, that narrative is going to be brought up again with the release of the PlayStation 5. How much longer are consoles going to exist? Is there going to be a move to cloud gaming? Well, directly from Sony CFO, when remember, Sony has a big investment in cloud 
Cloud Gaming. They picked up Gaikai and PlayStation Now has been one of their big investments, but they've kind of gone away from the traditional fundamentals of PS Now, offering downloads on PlayStation 4 games because people just weren't signing up to the service in droves. But there's still that talk on how big Cloud Gaming is going to be. Well, Chief Financial Officer of Sony, Hiroki Totoki, talked about it during Sony's quarterly financial press conference, and here's what he said. He first talked about the potential volatility and profitability for PlayStation in the future due to the console cycle going forward. However, Sony has a plan in place to leverage the install base on the PlayStation 4 into the next generation, and he also talked a little bit about cloud gaming, and he specifically noted that cloud gaming will not make consoles obsolete in five years, quote, it'll take much longer. Now, honestly, I don't see a point in the near future where cloud gaming gets off to the ground to the point of so many people taking advantage of cloud gaming. Ten years ago, I could have seen the infrastructure of digital gaming being put into place, and I could see 10 years down the line, there's going to be a lot of people playing games digitally. I would have said that in 2009. Here in 2019, there is not a future you can convince me of within 10 years that is just cloud gaming and consoles do not exist. I just don't think that's going to happen because streaming an entire game is much different than streaming a movie, music. Those are all stagnant pieces of entertainment. Gaming is interactive, so to offer that in a streaming service, yes, it's possible, but it's very, very difficult, especially because there are just some people that are going to be on wireless connection. There are some people that don't have the best internet service in the world. Are just going to stifle the entirety of that potential user base? That seems like a lot of people to cut out, so consoles are going to continue to be an option. And while Hiroki Totoki specifically spoke on five years, I do think it's much more than five years. I'm thinking that cloud gaming isn't going to be feasible to the majority of us within 15 years, 20 years. I don't know if it'll ever be feasible considering internet has kind of stagnated for a while, but we'll see. The technology changes year over year, and they could make massive strides, so this is just a story to keep an eye on. Moving on from that, it's been well publicized that NetEase, a Chinese company, Company has put a lot of money into Quantic Dream to create more ambitious projects, and now it's also been confirmed that Quantic Dream are going to start creating multi-platform games. No longer will their games be PlayStation 4 exclusives, and hey, while to your avid PlayStation gamer, you might think, hey, that sucks, that's an exclusive out the door. More people playing Quantic Dream's ambitious projects is going to be a good thing, and Dream's was a great game, and we got an update on how that game is doing commercially. Specifically, it was noted that Dream's is closing in on 3 million units sold worldwide, so for a game like this, while you might compare that to a game like Marvel Spider man which sold 3 million units very quickly quantic dreams titles are a little bit more on the niche side and there aren't as many people playing it as say a marvel spider-man so for it to be selling 3 million units that's very very impressive and would put it head and shoulders above what heavy rain and their other games did in similar time periods It'll be interesting to see what they work on in the future, and with NetEase pouring in a lot of money to them, their next project is probably going to be even more ambitious. Moving on from that, the Dreams beta has been running on the PlayStation 4, and people are putting out some insane projects. Specifically, I do want to highlight Project Zero that was created by Twitter user AR Guys. I'll put a link in the description box below. Currently under heavy development with the creator of Prometheus, and they've been developing a visually stunning cinematic FPS with solid momentum-filled gunplay. I'll leave a link to the tweet in the description box down below, but man, oh, Oh man, Dreams is putting out some absolutely insane projects, and considering we're just in the beta, this is the early signs of what is possible with the game. This game has potential to be pretty insane. Remember, somebody recreated the entirety of the opening sequence to the first Dead Space? There is a ton of potential with Dreams, and I was saying that this is what the game needed. We needed to see what was actually possible with Dreams for us to get really excited about it, and now I think as we see more and more of what this game is capable of, and what creators are able to do with this game, and the excitement for the game is just going to increase and increase, because for a long time yes gamers knew about the game but people weren't really sold on dreams with more information coming out i think people are going to start being more and more sold on it and project zero for a game that's created within a game it looks pretty ridiculous and lastly i do want to note to you guys that over on amazon you can get a digital download of the elder scrolls 5 skyrim special edition for 19.99 this game has held up in value for a long time it is skyrim you do have all of the downloadable content but man this game released seven years ago you think it would be a little bit cheaper at this point, even though it is the special edition. $20, though, one of the lower prices I've seen on it, so check it out for yourself if you're interested on giving Skyrim another go. Or for whatever reason, if you've yet to play it, playing it on PS4 with the special edition is a great option. The VR version of Skyrim is also very good, so if you have PSVR, that's another version to check out. That's on sale, as I mentioned, $36, $20 for the standard edition. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, check out the PlayStation Plus special sale right now. A lot of great deals as a part of that, and that's coupled with the essential sale also running right now so a ton of deals available on the playstation store first contact had a meeting with playstation they're probably creating a new game cloud gaming is not going to take over consoles in the next five years hell to me it's going to take a lot longer than that net ease and quantic dream are teaming up and they're going to bring something very ambitious 
But for now, they can be happy with the fact Detroit become human sold 3 million copies. Dreams is putting out some very impressive stuff, and the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Special Edition, $20 over at Amazon. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way, you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.